Hey everyone, welcome to another How To Webflow. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a frosted glass effect. Now you may have seen this effect used on a couple of different uh, concept mocks over on Dribble or Behance or even on some live sites. So I'm going to show you how to do that using Webflow and of course without coding. Here we go. All right, here we go. So first thing I want to do is add a div and this is going to be my hero and you can set this hero to 100 VH. Any height that you need will work. I'm just gonna work with 100 VH for now. I'm gonna set this to position relative because I'm going to have that frosted glass set as a position uh, absolute. So I want this to be the target. All right, um, then after that, so let's go ahead and add a background image, set that to cover, center, no repeat, and fixed. Cool. All right, we're done with the hero. Let's go ahead and add another div. So we have three divs, right, or two divs right here, okay? So this one, this is gonna be our position. So I'm gonna call this frosted glass wrapper. This is what's going to set the position of the frosted glass effect. Um, you can do any width, any height, it's all up to you. I'm doing 50% and 200. And I'm gonna set the position to absolute. And let's put it on top of the car. Okay, and I put it to the bottom right, but pushing it up by 28% and pushing it there. So you can, I'm putting it on top of the car, so when you, when I do that frosted glass blur effect, you'll see the, you'll see it happening. All right, so after that, uh, yeah, I want to also set the overflow to hidden because when you blur, I don't want any feathering on the edges, so I'm going to make it a hard stop. If you want the feathering, you can set leave the overflow as visible, but I'm going to set mine to hidden, okay? Uh, after that, inside the frosted glass wrapper, I'm going to add another div, and this is going to be the actual frosted glass. This is the frosted glass effect right here, okay? I want to set the height to 100% of its parent. There we go. And let's go ahead and add a background image we're going to use the same exact background image set it to cover center no repeat and here's how this is the trick this is the part right here boom now it looks like it's identical so if i move this frosted glass wrapper anywhere nothing it doesn't really look like anything's happening okay now let me go back to frosted glass and here's the effect are you ready there it is I just add a blur, as much as blur that I want. So something like this. And just for more fun, I'm going to add in a color overlay to make it a bit darker or a bit whiter, whatever you want. So say white and then like frosty glass like this. And there we go. And so if I preview, I have that frosted glass effect right there. All right. Now, again, if I move this position anywhere, that glass effect is happening anywhere I want. You can set the width to whatever you want, set the height, it's all up to you. Okay, so last thing, if you want to put content inside of here, watch what happens if I put text or anything inside of the frosted glass. Notice how everything is blurry you can't even see that i'll go here and change it to white see you can't you can't see the text because everything inside of this frosted glass is being blurred blurdy there all right so i'm going to turn the blur back on and delete the text and so what i need to do is add another div a sibling of this frosted glass not a child but a sibling okay and I'm gonna set this to position absolute full and now inside of this one I can put in a piece of text and then I can start typing away frosted glass effect and I can s let's go ahead and make this more visible there we go Mm -hmm. 
And then for this, actually for this, let's add some padding on those sides. There we go. See, just like that. Let's go ahead and make this bigger too. Cool. So that way this is not affected by this. Okay, so this is on top and just to make sure it's on top, I'll set the Z index to one. And in here, I'm gonna put a button just so I can link this to my uh, to this YouTube video. But yeah, that's how you do it. Hope this helps. Well, that was a quick tutorial for a pretty cool effect. Uh, let me know if you use this effect on any websites that you're working on by leaving the link in the comments below. And oh, don't forget, go to the overflow.io. It's this new free Webflow resource site that I just created every night. I'll be posting five new links to community created forum posts, articles, videos, or even clonable projects. So that way we can all share cool resources uh, that'll help us all become Webflow masters. So again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, do all the things to help support me. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. Thank you. Thank you so much. Also, if you want to request an effect or something built inside of Webflow and you want me to make a video of it, leave that in the comments too. All right. That's about it. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.